We are going to turn a couple cans of humble white beans into a most delicious dinner. Garlic Parmesan white beans, they are so easy and absolutely delicious. Let's do it. Garlic, of course, the start of everything delicious. So I've got four to five garlic cloves to start with. Goal is to mince them as small as you can get them. Garlic party happening. Going for some cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna cut these guys in half, no big deal. About a cup or so of cherry, grape, any kind of small tomato will do. So we're just kind of working on what will go into the beans and it's just very few ingredients here. We've got garlic, we've got tomatoes. We're gonna chop us some uh, parsley. You need you a good cup of chopped parsley. Start by removing the tougher parts, but leave some of the stem on. So much flavor in the stem. Bunch up your little parsley here and chop like a pro. People ask me this all the time. I actually use flat leaf parsley, also known as Italian parsley, which I think has a little bit more flavor than your average curly parsley. So we're gonna take this party to the stove, mix it all up in one big pan. Let's do it. Nice large pan for your beautiful white beans. Extra virgin olive oil, the start of everything delicious. I'm gonna use our early harvest Greek extra virgin olive oil for this recipe because I need something bold and pepper. You can find it on the mediterraneandish.com. Just hit the shop tab when you get there. I am looking for the shimmer. There is some movement right under the surface that to me says, I'm shimmering. I'm ready for you. Thank you very much a lot. We're gonna go in with our beautiful garlic. Still over medium heat, and you wanna manage your heat because you don't want your garlic to turn brown. You just need it to be nice and golden. Then we're gonna go in right away with our beans. It's a very beany situation. Okay, to help this party out, just a half a cup of water. That's right, nothing fancy. All right, this party is bubbling over medium heat still. I'm gonna go ahead and add some flavor in the form of beautiful kosher salt, a little bit of black pepper, and then I have a couple of amazing flavor makers. Aleppo pepper, which is sweet with a little bit of a kick to it, a good teaspoon or so. Aleppo pepper is also available via our website, and then a hint of cumin. See, check this out. It's already a beautiful bubbling beanie party. Going in with the tomatoes, tomato, tomato, and we're gonna kinda toss this around and let them cook happily for, oh, let's say 10 minutes or so. Even though these beans are out of a can, it is nice to allow them the time to cook a little bit and kinda get rid of that can taste. Smelling good. Check this out. Everything is melted beautifully. The beans soaked up the water. So now we're gonna build more flavor, a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. Now, a little bit of parsley, toss that around. And at this moment in time, you need some citrus. So we're going in with half a lemon. Here we go. From here, Parmesan, yes. Mmm, so good. Oh yeah, look at that richness. The parm is already adding. Going in with some Pecorino Romano, nice and nutty. You know, and if you don't have Pecorino Romano and you don't want to pay for it, I understand, really. Just do parm, but you do need some cheese to load up the flavor and give this bean situation a little something extra. Creamy, delicious goodness right here. I just can't help it, guys. I gotta add a little bit more olive oil. Now we're talking. This bean party is delish. Slice up some of your favorite rustic bread. You need something nice and hearty. Look how gorgeous this is, you guys. Check out other bean recipes right here on the channel. Grab the recipe for garlic parmesan white beans on the mediterraneandish.com. I will see you later. Hold on a minute, it's really good. <laughs>